Of all the comments I have ever had on my channel, there's one type of comment that I never ever would have expected and it shows up over and over and it kind of makes me feel like I'm in the twilight zone where I'm the same but for some weird reason everyone else is different. See, sometimes in my videos, in the middle of a long animation, I'll take a break. It might be a sandwich break, but most often it's a cereal break. But then I start seeing all these comments about how it's weird and backwards that I pour the cereal first and then the milk, which to me, the logic of cereal then milk is just self-evident. It's the way it's done and I never thought to question it. I always thought cereal commercials made it pretty clear. I thought to not pour the cereal first would be like looking down at your feet and deciding, I'm gonna put my socks over my shoes. Yeah. But hey, I'm open-minded. And it got me thinking, someone at some point must have had a moment where they sat down at breakfast and just questioned the whole natural order of things and decided to do it backwards. What was that moment like? To answer that question, I've teamed up with my animator buddy Malcolm Lamont and together we're making a short stop motion film using these action figures and this miniature kitchen set to reenact that historic moment for breakfast cereal. <laughs> <laughs> you can do this. You can do this. Also, Malcolm is a really good animator and we've worked on some big animated movies together. Movies that have been nominated for Oscars. Nominated, but never won. Anyway, this animation, it's not gonna be our best. It might be our worst. But, and Malcolm doesn't know this, but after we are done making this short film, I'm gonna present him with his very own Oscar. And now here's a montage of making this important short film. One thing that really helps when animating is to shoot video reference beforehand. I wanted a shot of our character laughing maniacally, so I shot some reference footage of me laughing maniacally. <laughs> it's nice to get footage of other people too, because sometimes they're better at laughing maniacally than you are. Or they might just do something different that you like. <laughs> Once you've got a clip that sparks your inner joy, you can refer to it for your performance as you animate. And we're finished. And now here is our Oscar-worthy short film, Milk First. Jerry had done breakfast the same way thousands of times. Cereal, milk, eat. 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 And then one day, he is about to pour his bowl, and he thinks, why am I doing it this way? He wonders, what if... No, I'm probably crazy, he thinks, but maybe... No, no, it's backwards. It goes against everything normal. But Jerry can't help it. Some fit of crazy sweeps over him and he pours the milk first. <laughs> but then it all goes wrong. The cereal just floats at the top. 
He tries to push the cereal down, but it's too buoyant. It makes the milk overflow. No, no, no! Quick, Jerry tries covering his tracks, but it's too late. The evidence of his insanity is all over the table. What are you doing? I... I... Did you pour the milk first? Uh... And now, the Academy Award for the Best Animated Short Film about a social issue revolving around the correct way to make breakfast cereal goes to... I haven't heard of that category. They just added it. And the Oscar goes to... Us! (laughs) (laughs) Ah, perfect. Oh, it's perfect. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I just want to thank all the commenters on my channel who inspired this video. You know who you are. And I know my time is up and I'm not supposed to use this platform for political reasons, but I just have to say one thing, cereal first, then milk forever. Ooh, get off the stage. Thanks. <laughs> If I could give out one more award, it would be to the sponsor of today's video, Audible. I love listening to Audible while I'm animating and especially while I'm traveling. And just recently, I was listening to Audible in the car and I discovered an audiobook called Creativity by John Cleese. I got so excited about it, I recorded some of my thoughts as I listened during my drive. Okay, so I've been listening to this John Cleese book, uh, Creativity. It's really, really good. And it's really short, so it's really easy to listen to. I'm like halfway through it right now. But um, I'm just, I'm really excited about everything he's talking about. He's talking about how do you set up your, an environment where you can allow your mind to play and you know get into that deep focus. The greatest killer of creativity is interruption. Research has shown that after an interruption, it can take eight minutes for you to return to your previous state of consciousness. Okay, I just finished the book. Uh, It was so good. It's just like the perfect, concise little guide. I'm so glad he wrote this book. It was so fun to listen to John Cleese reading it himself. And there was actually a moment in the book when he went off script for just a second. He's like, he made a comment. He said, now this is not in the book, but blah, blah, blah. And he gave like a little bit of, um, just kind of like added a thought to what he was saying. So that was cool. It was great. It was great. So if you don't have Audible yet, I think it's worth it just for this book. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. Members also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, or be entertained. New members can try Audible free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash andymation or text andymation to 500-500.